The National Museum has had the largest Egyptian collection in Latin America. Most of the objects were bought by Dom Pedro I in Rio de Janeiro in 1826. Unfortunately, some of those objects were destroyed in the fire of September 2018. Of the destroyed mummies, only one stood out. And now, you can see here, in the virtual environment, her recreation. This mummy was of a young woman who lived at a time when Egypt was under the rule of Rome during the first century AD. She lived in the ancient city of Thebes, now called Luxor. What makes this mummy special is the way her body was prepared. Like all embalmed bodies by the ancient Egyptians, hers had the brain and viscera removed. It was then washed, put to dry, and bandaged with linen cloth. It was at this stage of mummification that something not traditional was done. Her body was obstructed with cloth and the bandaged limbs were all done separately. This way, the body was like a doll's, with accented feminine forms and an appearance closer to that of a living person. Only a small group of people had their bodies prepared this way. Perhaps they are all members of the same family. We know that she originally had a face painted on a cloth that wrapped around her head. In it were represented the eyes, the mouth, the nostrils, and the ears. On the chest, there was a pink and white painted decoration that represented feathers, a symbol of protection worn by the dead. You also had a belt representing shells. Her hands were carefully bandaged each finger separately, like cloth gloves. The legs below the knee are wrapped in a carton, another unique feature of these mummies. Probably she had cloth sandals that were removed, revealing her mummified feet. There are other curious aspects. On the waistline, we can see the figure of the god Amset, one of the protective gods of the dead. On the head, between the bandages, we see the thin hair, part of the characteristic hairstyle of the Roman era. Like other objects in the Egyptian collection of the National Museum, this mummy had a computer tomography done and her CT images were digitalized in 3D which allowed it to recreate both its external and internal appearances. Although the body has been destroyed, her image remains, immortalizing her body in a way that the ancient Egyptians certainly would have liked to see.